This is Raptor News. I've had debates with Lex Will and many people online over if you were starving to death and it was a time of privation, the shit hit the fan and there was no food around, can you eat something unclean to save your life? These fools would say no. So you just sit there and you starve to death until you die. You and your children. That makes no sense. So today we're going to get into that. Because there's a lot of spooky people who will screw 50,000 unclean women, drink some drink, smoke some dank, and do everything under, sun, under the sun. Lie, steal, and kill. But they ain't going to eat no pork to save their life when, if the shit hit the fan. They make no, I'm going to say it clearly, goddamn sense. Revelations 21.8. Today we're going to get into this topic, man. Can you or can you not eat something unclean to save your life? But the fearful and all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire which burneth with fire and brimstones. If you fearing and if you're lying, you're going to hell. Genesis 12.10 and there was a famine in the land, and Abraham went down unto, into Egypt to sojourn there. Go nowhere among the Gentiles. But Abraham was doing what? Going among the Gentiles. Ooh, as long as he don't eat the, 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 the animal that cheweth the cud, the unclean beast. For the famine was grievous in the land. And it came to pass, when he had come near to enter into, the, into Egypt, that he said unto Sarah his wife, Behold, now I know that thou art a fair woman to look upon, you good looking. Therefore it shall come to pass, when the Egyptians shall see you, they shall say, This is his wife, and they, sh and they will kill me. So he fearing, but they will save thee alive. Say, I pray thee, thou art my sister. Say to them, you're my sister. So now he's a liar. And he's telling his wife to do what? Lie. That it may be well with me for thy sake. And my soul shall live because of thee. I'm saying this shit to save my motherfucking life, folks. When did God destroy Abraham for sinning right here? To save his life? Uh-huh. To save his life. As long as it ain't pork wrapped the news or rats or coyote meat. We got the most retardedest people in our race. Oh my God. Luke 6, 9. Then Jesus said unto them, the same thing I'm saying right now, the same thing Abraham just did. I ask you, which is lawful on the Sabbath? To do good or to do evil. To save life or to destroy it. So what is he saying? You can't do no work on the Sabbath. So if a baby fell down a well. Or even if your animals fell down in the well. And it's screaming and it's going to die if you don't save it. And you say well. I can't do nothing. I can't help it. I can't do no work on the Sabbath. I don't know why we in this fucked up situation. But they got to die. The kid got to die. The goat got to die. You are insane. If you let them die. You are insane. So he asked again in another way. Matthew 12, 11, He replied, If one of you has a sheep and it falls into a pit on the Sabbath, it's dying. It needs your help. It's bang real loud. Will you not take hold of it and lift it out? Is God going to be mad at you for saving the sheep's life? Oh, you broke the law, son. That's it. That's it. But you got your, your prophet up there, Abraham, lying and being fearful and eating with the Gentiles. But you can't save a fucking sheep. Spooky ass motherfuckers, man. How much more valuable is a man than a sheep? 
Same thing I'm saying. If you're hungry, you ain't going to save a man. You ain't going to save your children. If it's abundance of rats running around and no food in the grocery store. Why well, y'all eating all this badass damn food with all this damn, uh, uh, what you call it, byproducts and chemicals and artificial shit in it. But you can't eat pork to save your fucking life. How much more valuable is a man than a sheep? Therefore, it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. If you are saving somebody's life, even if it's your own life, you will sit there and starve to death and watch your kids die one by one. Some of y'all will do that and know you did nothing but wrong all your life. But you're going to do this one thing right, right here, huh? Stupid. Genesis 1.30. And I do mean stupid. Getting hot in here, man. Turn the air on. It is getting hot. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to everything that creepeth on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food, and it was so. So God is saying, every plant and every beast and everything he has given to you for food. I don't give a damn how weird they uh, word this. It is what it's saying. No, it was just talking about the green plant raptor. No, it was talking about everything that breathes life, you can eat it. We're going to prove that. Genesis 6, 19. And of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort shall thou bring into the ark, to keep them alive with thee. To save their life. <coughs> what about the flesh of swine? No. We can't bring that. It's funny how they brought that aboard. They brought the flesh of swine aboard. And they also had Gentiles. The beasts of the field. Aboard with them. If y'all don't know. How did they survive the flood? Because they was in the ark. Read. Jeremiah nineteen nine, and I will cause them to eat the flesh of their own sons. You mean God can cause you to eat the flesh of your own sons, but you ain't gonna eat no damn rat or no rabbit. But you just ate human flesh, and not only human flesh, your own sons. And of their daughters, and they shall eat every one the flesh of his friend in the siege of straightness wherewith their enemies and they that seek their lives shall straighten them so they say that uh, it took two months to break into Israel they didn't have no food or something like that and they start eating their children and things like that that's what some people say and God is saying right there that he's going to cause you to eat the flesh of your sons but to save your damn life you can't eat a rat. Some of y'all don't make sense. I just want you to use your common sense and some intelligence if you have some and quit being holier than thou. Read that and look that up in the, bu in the book. Ezekiel 4.13 And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles whether I will drive them. So you eating things unclean right there and God is allowing you to do it because he set up the situation. Your prophet is lying to save his life. You can lie to save your life, but you can't eat a rat to save your life. If it was the Sabbath, you, you would let your goat die or a human die in a hole because you're afraid to do some work on the Sabbath. But you screwed the next door neighbor's wife and smoked all his fucking blunts. Dumbass motherfucker. Ezekiel 39, 17. And thou son of man, thus says the Lord God, speak unto every feathered fowl and to every beast of the field, assemble yourself and come gather yourself on every side to my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you. Even a great sacrifice upon the mountain of Israel that you may eat flesh 
and drink blood, eat flesh, and ain't that forbidden? We can't drink the blood, Raptor News, but God is doing a sacrifice and telling you to what? Eat flesh and drink blood. You shall eat the flesh of the mighty, that's men, and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, that's men, and you're going to eat your damn children. That's men. But you can't eat a rat. Oh, you done broke them dietary laws. Wrapped the news. Oh, slave ass minded motherfucker. Exodus 21 30. If there be laid on him a sum of money, then he shall give forth the ransom of his life whatsoever is laid upon him. So you can pay money to save your life. You can lie to save your life. You can do all these things to save your life. But you can't eat a coyote, a rat, or some swine in a dire time, a shit hit the fan situation to save your life. You can't do that though. I'm just trying to make you think. Deuteronomy, oh, you trying to lead us away? From the dietary, ooh, Raptor News then went all stray. You didn't went ass stray, ass tray. Deuteronomy 30, 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I set before you life and death, blessings and cursing. Therefore, choose life. Therefore, choose life. Therefore, choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. So on the Sabbath, therefore, choose life. If you're starving and you need to eat some of that swine, therefore choose life. Therefore choose life. Therefore do what? Choose life. Commandment. It supersedes some stupid shit that y'all thinking. You already ate children. You already ate everything under the sun and the Gentiles to file blood while you kicking it with them. And God is telling you to choose life. No, no, no. We must die in this situation. You can't eat the rat rap, the news. Deuteronomy, and some of y'all, I ain't gonna even comment on this. I'm not gonna get up. Some morons, man. And that's why like I said, this is the thing. Most of us don't have no common sense. Nobody reads. Nobody see if there's any exemptions. It was just clear and straight. Deuteronomy 32, 47. For it is not a vain thing for you because it is your life. And through this thing you shall prolong your days in the land where the, whither ye go over the Jordan to possess it. Because it is your life that you need to prolong. 1 Kings 1, 12. Now therefore come let me, I pray thee, give thee counsel that thou must save thine own life. I'm giving y'all counsel so you can do what? Save your own life and the life of your son Solomon. You are allowed to save your life, Israel. In a shit hit the fan situation, if you're starving and there is no food around except for foul food, you are allowed to save your life in every instance. I have proved that with the scriptures. But let's keep going. Genesis 42 2. And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down there and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. So let's go get the Gentiles to foul shit so that we can live. Deuteronomy 12, so that we can do what? So we can live. Deuteronomy 12, 15. Notwithstanding thou may have killed and eat flesh in all thy gates, whatsoever thy soul lusts after. You can kill and eat the flesh, whatever your soul lusts after, according to the blessings of the Lord of thy God, which he have given thee, the unclean, and the clean may eat thereof. And it's two things. The unclean may be a Gentile with you. 
but an unclean may be the flesh that you lusting after as well. Deuteronomy 12:16. Only ye shall not eat the blood; you shall pour it upon the earth as water. Deuteronomy 12:20. When the Lord thy God shall enlarge thy border, as he has promised thee, and thou shalt say, I will eat flesh, <coughs> because thy soul longeth to eat flesh, you may eat flesh, whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. Except the pork, except the rat, rap the news, except the four-footed animals, except that damn rabbit. You can't eat that rabbit. I swear I'm eating that fucking rabbit, and fuck you, stupid. And when I'm eating that rabbit and, and, and put some damn fucking honeysuckle on that bitch, you're going to want some too. Psalm 78, 27. He rained flesh upon them as dust, and feathered fowls like as the sand of the sea. Flesh and... It was like the flesh was feathered fowls, wrapped the news. No, it was flesh and feathered fowls. And he let it fall in the midst of their camp. Why? As a test to see if they believe or not. Round about their habitation. So they did eat and were well fed. For he gave them their own desire. As they had a taste for swine. And that was their desire. He gave it to them. Because of what? Because of a blessing that he already put on you. Right? According to the blessing of thy Lord. You can eat whatever the fuck you wanted to eat. Right? They were not estranged from their lust. They were not prevented from desiring whatever the fuck they wanted to eat. And he gave it to them. And he ended up putting the wrath on their ass because he did this. It was impossible for this to happen. And they still disbelieved. Nehemiah 8.10 Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat. I thought we can't eat no fat. And drink the sweet and send portions unto them. For whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Deuteronomy 12.21 If the place which the Lord thy God have chosen to put his name there. Be too far from you. Then thou shalt kill of thy herd of thy flock. Which the Lord has given thee as I have commanded thee. And that shall eat in thy gates whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. Whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. Whatever, not just the flocks of your gate, whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. You figured that one out. So you got uh, the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, uh, um, Lot, running to save his life. You got. Abraham fearing and telling Sarah to be his, to act like his sister to save his life. You got all these people doing all these things to save their life. And you can't eat a rat, some swine, and a damn rabbit in a day of privation, in a day when there's lack, in a day uh, when the shit hits the fan and there is no food. You can't eat that to save your life. When God said choose life. Y'all got to stop being morons. This is Raptor News.